Imagine a new world order, and that is the digital order. There are no clear leaders in this emerging order yet. So you have critical non-state actors, such as the big technology companies, and other critical components that power the technology, semiconductors. But the area that we overlook are the raw materials, the minerals that power these technologies, lithium, uranium, which are majorly mined in Africa. How will this digital world order emerge? Who are going to be the major and dominant players? What will be Africa's role on the spectrum? Today I put on a global cap and I looked at the spectrum of the world orders that have emerged. And the first one after the World War was the security order. This was mainly bipolar between the big security powers, USA and the USSR. However, it became a unipower, basically the USA, after the USSR collapsed into fragments. And there's been no serious contender for that order. The second order that we have seen is the economic order. And here it's again bipolar between the USA with a GDP of 26.9 trillion and China with a GDP of 19.4 trillion. Japan comes a distant third. But it's imagine a new world order, and that is the digital order. There are no clear leaders in this emerging order yet. So you have big state actors such as the USA and China, but you also have critical non-state actors such as the big technology companies, Google, Meta, and all the other ones, which are championing technologies such as artificial intelligence, large language models, uh, blockchain, and other critical components that power the technology, semiconductors, and again here you find state and non-state players. But the area that we overlook are the raw materials, the minerals that power these technologies, lithium, uranium, which are majorly mined in Africa. How will this digital world order emerge? Who are going to be the major and dominant players? What will be Africa's role on the spectrum, given that the minerals to power this technology is mainly sourced from Africa?